Okay guys, so this is the other guy. Uh, Christmas came early for me this year and my wife decided uh, that she would buy me this little doodicky here. Um, it is a drill press. So it's gonna help me greatly with my homemade projects. But hey, you know, I got this thing for a hundred and a uh, hundred and seven dollars out the door. This is the the ten inch the ten inch bench drill press, and uh, it's a Chinese made item. Uh, yeah, I'm opening this up this is, and showing you my first impression. Okay, so this would be the thing where you uh, you know put your stuff through too. And I'll be honest with you, first impression, okay? Look at this. Not that great. This little uh, scale right here where it shows you the degrees of turn. It's not that great. Look at that. It's all crumbled up. One would think, okay, 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 so it's good now. I think it's a sticker, it's a sticker, and there's a lot of oil, I'll be honest with you. There's a lot of oil here, it's to prevent this thing from rusting. So, I, okay, I get it. Um, let's see. Okay, so the base plate here, there's a lot of oil in it, and so because it's a sticker, the oil got into the uh, uh, inside the sticky pad or whatever you call it. Okay, so put this here. Okay, so handles. And this is the <clears throat> mounting plate or the base plate where the drill press, uh, drill, I mean, this is the base where it stands on. Uh, first impression, it looks nice. Um, what, what else can I say? A lot of oil, a lot of grease. Okay. All right, so that's the first impression here. All right, what's this? Okay, so this is probably that little doohickey where it goes onto the stand. Okay. All right. Everything is oiled. It's not that bad. It's just slightly coated. Okay, so this right here has some rust in there already. Look at that. Okay. Okay, see. I don't know if you can see the rust, but there's some residue of rust in here. Maybe it was shipped to me dry. Not shipped to me, but to the dealer, to Hover Freight Dry. But it's metal, so I'll just stick some WD-40 on it, and hopefully that'll take care of that. All right. So this is the crank handle for the for the base here, and it's plastic. Pretty cheap. All right. That's dry. Okay. So now this is the bad boy here. And looks pretty nice. Okay. Okay, it's pretty solid. Feels solid, feels heavy. Uh, very nice. Switch on off. Pretty cheap. The switch looks pretty cheap. Um, but I'm thinking. If it ever goes out, I guess I'll improvise. Uh, again, I'll show you this. Cheap Chinese stickers. Check, check this out. See that? You see how it's lifted? That's because oil got into it. Okay, so... 
well, ninety-nine dollars. What do you expect, right? Um, yeah. But it's all right. Okay, what do you expect from ninety-nine dollars? Okay, so I'll be honest with you. Okay, it's all oily, all right? This whole thing is shipped oily, which I think it should be okay. I'm thinking uh, the oil is a layer of film that protects the, the thing so that it doesn't uh, rust. So let's go check out the other doodads. And this is the stand where you put on the stand here. Okay. And let's check out the condition of it. Alright, so that's the doodad. Pretty cheap steel. Uh, the thickness of it, I don't think it's an eighth of an inch. Or, it's probably either three sixteenths or one eighth of an inch. Okay, the thickness here. I, I don't know, I'm just going, going by what I think how thick it is. Okay, so it's, so the base here has been pressed in. So it ain't gonna go anywhere. Let's see what? <sighs> yep, it's pressed in solid. Okay. And here is the little thing with Bob, where it, uh, you know, makes the uh, platform here go up and down. So that's the thing with Bob here. Okay, so overall quality so far, aside from those little stickers, it looks okay. Um, I haven't tested, just uh, looking at the quality of it, it looks pretty nice. Alright, um, I'm not seeing any nicks. Or or rust on the metal here, so that's 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 okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start building this thing. I'll read some directions first, and then I'll fast forward this. But overall, I this is my first time ever owning a unit like this, so I don't really know how to. Uh, compare it to but I just wish this was not a sticker this little item right here where it tells you the degrees okay so anywho let's build it up and see what happens <music> So you saw me built this thing up. So here yeah, I'll show you this. Um, basically, these are the speed setting. Okay. So as you can see here, it's on. It's not to the last uh, groove here, but it's here. That's the highest groove up here, and almost to the bottom groove here. And top groove here so let's see what speed are we looking at all right so uh, let's see it's something like this here ok 
Okay. Uh, okay, so we are looking at about 470 RPM. It's this one right here. Okay. I don't know if you can see. Yep. So it's set up at 470 RPM. And I might want to go faster, but for right now, let's test this uh, to see how noisy it is. Let's close this little bad boy. Okay. Okay. That's pretty quiet. Okay. Pretty, pretty quiet. Okay. So, uh, it's not that hard to build this bad boy up. Um, the reason why I bought this is because I'm going to be... Oh. The reason why I bought this is because I'm going to be doing a lot of projects with it. And uh, uh, my wife was happy to buy it for me for Christmas. And you'll be, you'll be seeing me do a lot of projects with this uh, bad boy here. The reason why I chose this over the Craftsman and the Skill is because it's a, you know, it has 12, 12 speed capability. It's got a stronger motor, more powerful motor. This motor is horsepower is three fifth, three fifth horsepower. It's a three point eight five amp motor, so it's a little bit stronger than the um, the Craftsman and the Skill, and that's what I like. So I, I like it to be more powerful than those two items, and although this doesn't have the lights like the Craftsman, and it doesn't have the laser. I don't really care for those. People did well with those before time, and so uh, I don't need those items. So anywho, um, this thing is set up. So you, you can see the base. Um, it'll go up and down with relative ease. And you know, you know how they have this little review where they say that this thing is playing there's a lot of play in this thing. Well, if you tighten this, don't, there's no more play. See, very little. And you can slide it up and down as well. Okay, so there's no play. And you can slide it up and down. See, I don't know how they're saying that there's a lot of play, but there, there isn't a lot of play here. Okay, so, uh, the angle, the table here, the angle, you're going to have to loosen this bolt. What I'm going to do is I'm going to invent my own little doohickey so I don't have to use a wrench to uh, unbolt that. So anyway, something like this. So uh, yeah, it's, uh, let's turn it on again. Oh, sorry, I have a bad cord here. Okay. Pretty quiet. Okay, bad cord. It's my cord. So, uh, so uh, that's that. It looks heavy duty, and I hope it lasts. I just wish that they make a little doohickey for the truck here, like something that'll feel like a truck keeper. And uh, that's about that, guys.